and things, I think things really just got out of control. And when I was taking medication, it, it, I took antidepressants that did kind of make me worse, they made me very paranoid. And I went, went from really doing not too bad, really getting on quite well with my life, to a complete nosedive and breakdown. I fairly quickly, within about three or four months. I just, I, I was like losing myself, I really felt lost. And I think that it happened so quickly and without really being aware of where, where things were going, it was, it was quite shocking, it was quite frightening. Did you feel that was a fundamental change at that point? I think it. I think it was coming. I think it was on the post. I don't think it was. Um, I don't think much could have been done to stop, like me cracking up, me having a breakdown. I think it, it was always in in the pipeline, as it were. But perhaps it had it. I think it, it, there had circumstances been different. It wouldn't have been then, and it wouldn't have been the way it was. Well, it began. Um, before, uh, during the war, um, when I became what I termed clairaudient, it never really bothered me. It was something I had sort of expected. I assumed I was talking to God, you know, as, because it was a more religious society in those days. And we got, I got to 1961 when I was 32 years old, and... I had been attending, I'd been having some discussions with a colleague at work. And when I went to church on the Sunday, it was as though the minister had sat and listened to what we had to say and had written his 